very good afternoon everyone i hope you are doing well and now we only have like two more days to go right and it's very important that you revise everything everything whatever you have studied is really important that you should go through again and through these key pointers that we are going to revise that will definitely help you to remember and also recall you whatever you have studied so so far right so let's not uh, you know waste a little bit time and we'll just start right away so anyway first what happens tell me here you don't have to tell i'll just move forward quickly so in hamlet what happens the grave diggers unearth who what skull of uh, just a yorick griselda is a character from uh, chaucer's canterbury tales which also appears where in carol churchill's top girl remember that and test in test of the dervils hardy uses two forms as a setting one is tal bothies and flint comb ash remember both of these and it represent what beauty and the spirit of life the other that flint comb ash what it re represent it represent the barrenness and extreme hardship right and the phrase epistemology of the closet is actually the title used as the title in eve so ski sedgwick's in seminal work refers what does it mean how contemporary western culture thought are shaped by the categorization of homo and heterosexuality right and in adichie's purple hibiscus the image of purple hibiscus symbolize what freedom and individuality right and the main difference between discourse analysis and ethnographic research is that discourse is based on analysis of language and the ethnographic graphic is uh, analysis on cultural and social practice analysis of the relationship between the reader and a text analysis of relationship between text and analysis of images are involved in where textual analysis as a research method so again this is an example of the famous petrarchan convention what here are the lines and her fire eyes like stars that dimmed were with dark some cloud now shew their goodly beams more bright than hasperus his head dot so this is the example of petrarchan convention another the scarlet letter has been described by his author as its author as positively a hell fired story hey okay. another is uh, here silence the court is in session is actually based on swiss writer frederick uh, duran matt novels the dangerous game remember that and the museum of female monster appears in night at the circus and the american linguist kenneth l pike is more mostly associated with what tagmatics and george lucas is associated with reflection theory and the stone wall ride that happened in 1969 in new york were related to lgbt rights great and robert macruer script theory is associated with disability and saint jones the murder of the cathedral and the crucible all are all explore the theme of redemption and the joy and luck club the name shake and americana all depicts immigrant family and the poem pied beauty peace and ash bow are all sonnets but have less than 14 lines that is all curtled on the right and the correct definition of linguistic geography is the study of uh, regional variation of the language 
Derrida famously called what said about there is nothing outside the text. This means that everything is characterized characterized by the differences, right? And the concept of desire is central to Lacanian psychoanalysis. The correct explanation of the concept is like need, which can be satisfied. Desire can be satisfied. Desire denotes the lack in our being. And language is a mask. to disguise the impossibility of desire so these are all the what uh concept in psychoanalysis and chaos theory and the complexity theory these are where where do we found these are found uh in the application in cultural studies sociology and media studies right harper's lee kill to a kill Ma- mockingbird was published 1960 quite important date uh, there are some list that occurred in between two years 1952 and 1958 uh, association from the list waiting for godot published in uh, 1950 something so in french it was published in french first 1952 and ernest hemingway won the nobel prize in literature the first performance of john osborne's look back these all events happened between 1952 and 1958 elegy written in country churchyard we know it's uh, the date it was published in 1751 and it is by uh, thomas gray and some of the st- statements are here which are true about first the the idea of resultant of goodness of education which is the enlightenment optimism is contradicted when the speaker points out the possibility that poor folk what can also become corrupted with education and the display of enlightenment principle by the speakers faith that the poor folk can also become intelligent successful and proper education is evident in the poem and the third is by the time gray wrote this poem enlightenment rationality had set strong grounds to stand on its own right and here again it is a statement about the uh, pope's the rape of the lock as we know an addition of clarissa's speech that was added in where in the 1717 publication the final form of a poem and as we know it is mock heroic narrative poem and it is often regarded as an example of high burlesque and literary or musical piece intended to cause laughter by caricaturing the pattern of serious works right and in richard sheridan's play school for a scandal some of the statements are here which are true sir peter was doubtful of charles at first and not joseph second lady teasel arrives at the scene tempted at the luring joseph but had to go hiding when her husband arrives and sir peter was relieved when he hears that that charles telling joseph that he has no interest in lady teasel so this i hope you know about a school school for a scandal that is like one question is certain so five years have passed you have to give the example it is five years have passed five summers with the length of five winters this is an example of easy like anna fara like it was the worst of time it was the you know all the time in mean, uh charles dickens one statement is there right i mean opening line so these are all example of anaphora the re- reversing of the order of words now reverse reversing of the word uh, order of the words in the second of two parallel phrases a sentence called chayasmas and ye and jean janet started his life as vagabond quite important as a thief and became a writer and political activist home fire I hope you know this work it was published in 20 2017 and it is the best known award winning novel by Pakistan British writer Kamila Samsi right and it reimagines what Sophocles Antigone in a contemporary settings and the palace of illusion 
is a 2008 novel reimagining what the mahabharata important also it is told from a woman's point of view in now again question about uh, in about biographical literary yeah, that coleridge has borrowed concept of exemplistic imagination from immanuel kant shape into one is the meaning of exemplistic right in hamlet and his problem what t.s eliot argued argued about that the play itself is what the problem of the play is the play itself about hamlet he said who t.s eliot right and it is a beauteous evening calm and free by what's what and it is analyzed what by clent brook in his discussion of the context par concept of paradox the child dies at the end of the play which in six uh, six characters in search of an author so what happens at the end child dies okay so there are characters like manager father mother brother all these characters are there and at the end child dies in where six characters in search of an author remember that so anyway remember tom jord is from the grip of wrath and peter walsh is from mrs dalloway and gerald critch is from women in love these are the character from different different novels okay alu remember alu alu is a young master weaver who is mistakenly considered to be terrorist in where the circle of reason remember that lord ripon appointed the hunter commission important from unit 10 right and anthony giddens in the study of modern societies developed the concept of structuration remember anthony giddens what developed the concept structuration quite important right and i a richards and c k ogden everybody knows that they developed what basic english including our 850 words important this is from unit number i think 5 uh, or 6 right and john of gaunt gives this speech remember john of gaunt what he gives this uh, speech this royal remember this royal throne of kings this scepter isel is a speech from shakespeare richard third remember this is the important character in richard second right illustrating the principle of purple patch queen mab queen mab is the author who who wrote this poem pb shelley right elementary aspects of pleasant insurgency in colonial indian is a classical work of what subaltern studies by ranjit guha correct and salim salim was nicknamed nicknamed buddha in where the midnight children okay and theodore rosa coined the term counter culture and janet armstrong novel slash set in where it was there against oka okanagan culture and om prakash valmiki's autobiography juthan was translated in english by arun prabha mukherjee and taib sali is what remember the country because a couple of time they have asked about uh, his birth place is the birth country and it is from sudan so he is sudanese writer and famous for the work season of migration remember that and the theme of this novel shows what how british colonialism destroyed ethnic arab society okay we are just moving quickly this is all last minute revision we are not paying attention we just have the collection of all important uh, pointers that is quite important in exam perspective so so another one character is talking about sirle and it is from ben johnson's play the alchemist which exposes the fraud of jeremy and subtle so these were character in the alchemist by ben johnson a well educated woman journalist called medina stands up to the a brutal repression from the journal president and the tribal system and the old fashion and repressive islamic law this is actually a plot of what sardines okay and uh, michael on that say anil tisa tisera and sara diasena diasena our central character 
characters in a novel set against the Sri Lankan civil war so anil teresa sara diasena so these are on, on the morning of christ nativity it is milton's poem as we know and it is known as nativity ode and in 1955 and 59 lolita was banned in english remember that uh, date that lolita was banned in england where the date is 1959 to 955 to 59 and gabriel griffin has edited a seminal book on research Uh, methods in english this is from unit 10 a tale of a tub remember this book is by swift right and it is written for the universal improvement of mankind so this is the subtitle of a tale of a tub women reading books was an important motif in 19th century fiction and in a famous scene in a novel jane austen a character reads bivic history of british birds so remember that name do i contradict myself this is uh, an excerpt from a poem song of myself i hope you remember that very well then i contradict myself the common of doris lessing the grass is singing and it see dangare uh, bangas is nervous conditions and no violent bulavayos or whatever the name and we need new names so remember the common theme of this is all they are all set in zimbabwe and mr pip mr pip as we know it is a 2006 novel based on charles dickens uh, novel great expectation and the author are or lloyd jones so remember that captain hercules vinegar is a pseudonym by henry fielding henry fielding not only took one pseudonym but many if you can say the luck of barry linden a novel by thackeray is a picaresque narrative based on the life and exploit of the anglo irish uh, rake and fortune hunter andrew robinson stone and adapted into a movie by stanley kubrick remember that mark twain mark twain we know was an anti imperialist supported what supporter of abolitionism and he also supported women's suffrage and the victorian novelist george gishing and this is this novelist was a part of naturalist movement and wrote novels like new grub street and the odd woman these both are quite important work by george gissing and vicky collins initiated the tradition of sensational novels so remember this love in the time of cholera is cholera or cholera whatever so love in the time of cholera is a love that is treated like a plague or cholera right so heroic stanza on the death of a liver cromwell austria redux these are the chronological order so this came first and then austria redux then anna samarabelis and absalom and akitophel these are the poems in chronological order so remember you can just create a code like hero austria anus and what you can adjust so here so remember this you can just create code for that it is quite important so in the french lieutenant woman the heroine lives at the chelsea house with the painter named dante gabriel rossetti and douglas stewart novel shaggy bean shaggy bean is set in glasgow the testament is a sequel to the hands made tale the line take thy face hands is an example of senec doshi and uh, in 1984 is an old glass paper weight remember that in 1984 this symbol is quite important old glass paper weight possessed by the protagonist name what everybody knows so write in the chat box if you know anyway correctly match pair sithe sithe is from beloved and i know the key i know why the cage bird sings uh, the character margaret and silly from 
with the color purple and bigger thomas native son and john grims go tell it on the mountain and a long syllable remember the code we had a long syllable followed by a small that is called trochi and a opposite of it is what yam right and simon de beauvoir's book the second sex 1949 was first published in paris and paul scott raj quatrat what includes the novel the jewel in crown a passage to india is a famous novel that scott rewrite so remember that again it is the re rewritten form of a passage to india so this novel was as we know by ian foster right so hugo and nebula awards are given to the best for what best works in science fiction remember hugo and nebula science fiction niche argued that greek tragedy arose out of the fusion of apollonian restraint and dionysian unbridled passion element so here another quote is there all these things which some very surprising incident in some new adventure thus begins the closing line of defoe's robinson cruise or this is the the line ending line of this both begins and the closing so uh, again no more shall rouse them from their lowly bed and it is the line from elegy written in the country churchyard which makes it clear that the sleep of the sleep of the dead is an everlasting one and nothing can wake them up so the early morning prayers by the people are twittering of swallow they were the the very intense fragrance of the breezy morning and the clarion alarm of the clock so paulo kelo is born where we know he's brazilian and he was born in 1947 and he wrote the novel the alchemist i hope i wonder everybody must have read that novel right anyway so in the preface to say shakespeare what happened we find the quote the end of writing is to instruct the end of poetry is to what instruct by please just give me a minute okay so just read a little bit just give me a minute i'll be back in just so anyway where are we right now we're talking about the chaucerian stanza also known as what they it is also known as rhyme royal and which has seven lines and thomas north raf robinson and thomas hobby were translated but george putenham was not a translator of in the renaissance period Okay, in a room of one's own is extended extended essay that resulted from two lecture that the author gave at Newham College and remember these two is important colleges where Virginia Woolf has given the lectures. Anyway, I'll just just give me one minute. Meanwhile, you just read the rest. I'll be back. I have need to make a call and will be back in a minute. Hello.
Okay, sorry for the disturbance. Anyway, I'm back and let's finish this. What we have started. Okay, so the green hamlet, Meru, and the lapses. Where are we? We were here somewhere, right? This one, I guess. So the green hamlet, Meru, and lapis lazuli are poems by W. B. Yeats, but Enoch Arden is by Lord Tennyson. The people of Patusian. Remember that island eh, was where called the protagonist of where Conrad's Lord Jim Chuan Zim. So they called him what? Not as Lord Jim, but Tuan Jim. Chuan Jim. Tuan Jim. Anyway, Henry Vaughan, George Herbert, Thomas Traherne were religious metaphysical poets but robert herrick was not so these were all religious metaphysical poet but robert herrick was not so gyal lorenzo bernini through the name we can understand that he was an italian artist who belonged to the moment called baroque remember that another filippo marinetti marinetti is the author of the futuristic manifesto we have found this question not only one but three four three times in net the beat generation poets were associated with the city light uh, bookstore remember the name anita desai's novel clear light of day set in where in old delhi the afternoon sun is on their faces they are calm not a stupid pregnant not bovine i know women like that and not just in paintings these are line from where it was uh, appeared in a famous poem by Eunice de Souza and correctly matched pair is here Azar Nafizi reading Lalita in Tehran this question has appeared also in another uh, paper so quite important and Tehnina Durrani my feudal lord and Imtiaz Darkar is from Parda I mean he wrote Parda and Stephen Greenblatt we know he's associated with historicism right but he's not an archetypical critic but Carl Jung these are all uh, related to archetypical criticism and Northrop Fry death be not proud authored by john dunn and and death shall have no dominion that's an entrance and do not go gentle into the good night are uh, these poem by thomas D dylan thomas and here what macaulay famously said whoever knows english has ready access to all the vast intellectual wealth which all the wisest nations of the earth have created and hoarded in the course of 90 generations it may be safely said that the literature now extant in that language is of far greater value than all the literature which 300 years ago was extant in all the languages of the world together in Henry de Rusa's harp of India the harp represent what Indian civilization and such a long journey it was published in 1991 a house for mr. Biswas the stone angel and the catch 22 these all are published when 1961 remember the day the man eater of Malgudi is a novel where Nataraj is a printer and who is also an important character in the man eater of Malgudi Valu Volumnia Volumnia is a character who appeared in William Shakespeare's play Coriolanus remember that so quickly we finished 100 points it's like you have recalled almost one question paper right and keys to remember mock test 2 this is again we are going to start before that i'll give you two minutes break so when we are back we'll just finish this in one
so here remember denmark is in uncertain state where it was mentioned it was mentioned in act 1 of hamlet said about the state of it was the state where so denmark is in an uncertain state in act one of hamlet sent about the state of denmark only actual research uh, develops research skills and informa information is discrete whereas knowledge consists of a network of connections john milton wrote for books are not absolutely dead things but do contain but they do contain a potency of life in them to be as active as that soul whose pro progeny progeny they are anyway milton's character samson is modeled on prometheus richard lovelace remember that richard lovelace wrote these oft quoted line stone walls do not make a prison nor iron bars a cage minds innocent and quiet take that for a hermitage if i have freedom in my love and in my soul i'm free angels alone that soar above enjoy such liberty john steinbeck's of mice and men is not a debut novel it is not the first novel okay and the sun of uh, the sun also rises is a 1926 novel by ernest hemingway who's an american writer and his first that portrays america portrait what it portrays american and british expatriates what who travels from paris to the festival san fermin pamplona to watch a running of the bulls just yes, in short that the sun also rises mention the bull what mentioned bull fights and a novel by saul bello published in 1953 retrospective narrated by auto narrated autobiography this picaresque novel charts the life of augie march a chicago jew so that question was also asked once a chicago jew life of augie march and again uh, related to that there was one more question in which novel or something that uh, it was said that i am from chicago or i am a chicago man so it was same by saul fellow soldiers pay soldiers pay is the no first novel published in published by the american author william faulkner so it was uh, faulkner's first novel was soldiers pay alice fairfax batsy trotwood trotwood sorry for that alice fairfax batsy trotwood miss havisham and sue shoe bride had they are all important characters in from Ch uh, charles dickens and they are in chronologically order so these characters are from chronologically ordered so remember that jg faral won the booker prize and lost man booker prize or it should be anyway jg faral won a booker prize and also lost man booker prize he wrote the empire trilogy one of his novel autobiographically depicts the main character spending a long period in hospital after contracting polio so that was complete plot of what empire trilogy anyway beloved as i lay dying to kill a mockingbird these are all southern gothic novel but breakfast at tiffany is not so you just have to have to remember that beloved as i lay dying and to kill a mockingbird they are all southern gothic novels the sensitive plan and this is kind of trend that they are asking you know minor work of pb shelley especially pb shelley so sensitive plant the triumph of life like that they are asking the question related to pb shelley so the sensitive plant is by pb shelley the lady of the lake we know it is a narrative poem by sir walter scott and it was published in 1810 now the feast of the poet is a poem by lee hunt 
and that was originally published in 1811 in the reflector john clear john clear is one of the important english romantic who wrote the sefford's calendar and the sefford's calendar was also another work by edmund spencer so don't get confused because the name is the same here is sefford's here is the sefford's okay so first major poetic work which was published in 1579 9 and the correct definition of creole creole is what creole is a pigeon which becomes established as a native language of the community so pigeon is when it is like the origin of the language whatever we have you know kind of mixed language which has no uh, status of language yet but uh, as the time goes long then it eventually becomes creole at the end not in the beginning so so the beginning stage of any language is kind of pigeon and then it becomes creole so edward sap sapier very important term linguistic relativity jo warp sapier also it is known as hypothesis something anyway applied linguistic describes what it is as the branch of linguistic concerned with the practical application of language studies and interlanguage is what larry selinker's contribution to linguistic again aspects of theory of syntax it is a book by chomsky and it develops develops what the idea that each sentence in a language has two levels of representation a deep structure and a surface structure this question has uh, you may find once again because i have seen it many time heterotrop heterotopia is a term propounded by michel foucault and oppositional is a decoding position in stewart's hall encoding decoding model of communication in television remember that and the term finscape refers to the world wide flux of money and capital and the historical approach is referred to here as one of the potential disadvantage of this approach to literature is that it can reduce meaning to a certain time frame rather than making it universal throughout the ages so camp camp is also a term which is defined as a love for the nat unnatural of artifice and exaggeration and so the care of posterity is most in them that i have no posterity and that was the quotation from francis bacon any essay so w w what greg's essay the rationale of the copy text is a landmark in addition of a bibliographic studies where greg questions the tyranny of copy text and that correct definition of the copy text is it is a manuscript or earlier published version of a text used as the basis for a scholarly addition and custom in corner commons studies in traditional popular culture this is work by ep thompson and writing in society the politics of modernism against the new conformist and resource of hope culture these are the books by raymond williams woods dispatch as we know it deals with the primary education and higher education also women's education teachers training vernacular education english education but it doesn't deal with the vocational education so that uh, if they are asking and also scientific education they are all related to pedagogies anyway utopia by thomas more was written first where in latin and first it was published in 1516 after that the revision of peter giles and erasmus then it was published in belgium it was first published in belgium the mirror and the lamp you know it is a book by m h abraham and it is a romantic it is all about romantic theory and critical tradition hegemony on the other hand is a term that denotes that the state of ruling capitalist class hegemony is like 
the capital the cultural capital in simple word you can uh, define it the cultural institu institution maintain power in capitalist society why marx was right is a 2011 book by british british academic terry eagleton on the subject of the 19th century philosopher karl marx and the school of thought marxism that arose from his work remember image music text these all brings what brings together major essays by roland barthes on the structural analysis of narrative and on his issues in literary theory on the semiotic of photograph and film on the practice of music and voice a grammar of motive is a book by kenneth burke and shakespeare is above all writers at above all writers so here it is saying shakespeare is above all writer at least above all modern writers the poet of nature when it comes to the nature something it was dr johnson who has said in his where in his work the preface to shakespeare shakespeare and gertrude stein we know is credited for the lost generation and hemingway made it widely known also you are all from the la lost generation that was the quote anyway sainsbury is a propounder of university wits frederick jackson turner is a propounder of frontier hypothesis the stream of conscious term which was coined by william james not henry james it is william james an archive biopower govern 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 mentality these are all terms discussed by michel foucault raymond williams coined the notion structure of feeling in the 1917 70s to facilitate what a historical understandings of affective elements of consciousness and relationships and homi bhaba defined what third space third space as what liminal and between hybrid space or post coloniality created in language or education translation can happen where in the third space so that is quite important line that you may find once again anyway crepes last step is very important uh, play by wood samuel bucket and it is about what a long monologue originally spoken by irish actor patrick maggie culture is the one thing that we cannot deliberately aim at it is the product of variety of more or less harmonious activities each pursued its own sake and this famous excerpt is taken from ts elite notes towards the definition of culture now you understand no the questions that they ask is not always easy so it's very important to revise this every day so we have already finished 150 plus points right we have to do at least 1000 uh, points before you go to exam and that will definitely help you so much anyway marcel moss who is a french sociologist famous for his essay the gift forms and function of exchange in archaic society and js j h miller the critic as a host is a say draws upon ideas from the work john keats wrote what the sonnet robin hood lines on the mermaid tavern and it is all in reply to the robin hood poems written by a friend john hamilton reynold and samson agonistus is what these are all here in chronological order the first one was samson samson agonistus and then we have more lessays than endymion and the triumph of life that i told you right <laughs> anyway opera is not a song sung is not a sung to the accompaniment of instrument with lots of inter purse dialogue but it can have costumes dance so in a simple it is not completely a song but it is opera which uses what costume dance 
and it is dramatic work set to music and it is a genre of classical music and harriet smith ain elliot mrs miley sissy jupes sue bride had these are all character in chronological order macaulay's minute emphasized the promotion of european literature and science through the english medium to the people of india lord bentick passed this resolution right and william ashendam very important character in cakes and ale okay remember that and it is the first person narrator approached by amy to write the biography of her late husband who was a writer anyway so much depends upon a red wheel barrow and when you get that red wheel barrow glazed with the rain water beside the white this poem is example of what imagism and under the net is the author's first novel which tells the story of a struggling young writer who seeks to improve his circumstances and make up for the past mistakes by reconnecting with his old acquaintance hugo bell founder and a mild what mannered and soft spoken philosopher edmund keen is a character shakespeare shakespearean actor not character so he mostly he has what played most of shakespearean characters so he was an actor and chinu achieve no longer at ease opens with a beginning it begins with a trial and lucy honey church very important right and is an english woman traveling in italy as the protagonist of a novel by em foster and john henry newman a writer belong to the tractarian moment he wrote grammar of descent and the dream of gerontius so remember all this and in middle march has these characters in middle march what are the character the sisters dorothy's uh, the sisters dorothy and celia dorothy's husband edward cassabon quite important character and we have tertius ledigate and the doctor in town rosa mount vinci his wife and pabula pablo neruda sorry for that pablo neruda was not the ambassador to india in the 1960 but he was what poet and diplomat from chile only we know we have to know where he is from and pablo neruda is his pen name so toads so these kind of poems who who can write philip lark and right toads is a poem on the drudgery of working life written by philip lark in classic classic readings on what it means to be an educated human being this is the subtitle of fr lewis what the great tradition a test of the durbar bills where durbar willies is set during a long depression era so anyway emotions nature was published by james munro company that is important given here a list of poetry collection harm harmonium a boy's will the north ship the will to change and so these are harmonium is by wallace stevens a boy's will robert frost the north ship philip larking and the will to change is adrian rich John Forster is a biographer of Charles Dickens very important John Gibson is Gibson just simple John Lockhart is a biographer of Walter Scott and everybody knows i think Isaac Walton is a biographer of Dunn so Austen biographer Claire Tomlin describes the novella heroine as a sexual predator who uses her intelligence and charm to manipulate betray and abuse her lovers friends and family so seven iambic pentameter lines always known as chaucerian stanza tennyson wrote the poem milton not only he but uh, samuel johnson also wrote milton william blake also wrote milton 
in which he called the mighty mouthed inventor of harmonies who called tennyson in milton and wordsworth also wrote milton so everybody almost wrote about milton so the years a modernist novel opens the chapter titled 1880 the years remember the years and fuzzy wuzzy fuzzy wuzzy is a poem by rudyard kipling and it is a written in cockney dialect joseph heller's catch 22 is set in the which island pinoza which is in the mediterranean sea the sudan the pseudonymously or the just simple the pseudonym written book drapius letter appeared in 172425 against the imposition of privately minted copper coin is in ireland and there were seven pamphlets in the book it is written in heroic couplet what aurora lee is actually not true about aurora lee so it was not written in what heroic couplet Bapsi Sidwa Ice Candy Man where it was set in Lahore and DH Lawrence Sons and Lovers are dedicated to his friend Edward Garrett who was Lawrence a debtor and a friend so it is true about Huckleberry Finn's what it was the first american novel to be written in vernacular language throughout Nell Trent and Daniel Quilp Quilp is the character in the old curiosity shop speech and phenomena are the work by hussel old bailey novels were written in 1820s and 40s period in written dealing with crime the following novels of joseph conrad is in the correct chronological order starting with the nigger of the na sisters and heart of darkness lord jim nostrum nostremo and under western eye Okay and Kingsley Amis wrote the first James Bond novel. Huh? Kingsley Amis does not not written by Ian Fleming. Anyway, this will leave it. Uh, the critic Avtar Bra is a Ugandan British what sociologist. She is a pioneer in diaspora studies and she is famous for her book cartographies of diaspora in the rainbow the novel depicts three generation of what family that lives in nottinghamshire and glory is the glorious to god for dappled thing this is the opening line of pied beauty the portrait of the lady as a protagonist who is a young woman from albany new york who travels to europe with her aunt named mrs torcher and William Make Pistakare wrote under the pseudonym Charles Savage Fitch Bordel and what very important Michelangelo Titmars and the Canterville Ghost is a short story by Oscar Wilde and William Beckford's Vathek in Radcliffe the Italian and Gregory Lewis the Monk and Clara Rees the old english baron and charles maturins is melmouth the wanderer are all gothic novels ab patterson poem falsing matilda presents what a swagman so ud ugoru ud geru anyway whatever you can just read and nunukal was the first aboriginal australian to publish a book on verse actually her christian name is kath walker so couple of times they have asked about kath walkers that name original name and that is nunukal i don't know how aboriginal australian say that but anyway in margaret atwood's hag seed what the central character is who felix and who's an art festival director who has lost his post this character is reminiscent of prospero and the heart goes last is margaret atwood dystopian novel and corporate capitalism and soon it lightly dipped and rose and sank and dipped again these line are from indimian illustrate the figure of his speech polysenditon remember that and there will be 16 syllable in a line that will be called dactylic 
hexameter a dance for the forest is dance of the forest is a half satirical celebration of nigerian independence Mo morning becomes electra is a play divided into three section all the section is important the homecoming the hunted and the haunted and 30 days 30 days in september is a play by mahesh tattani that depicts what the trauma of child abuse the dark holds no terror and it is about the story about who saru who was a doctor whose husband cannot tolerate her out shining him and hg wells who wrote novels about a man who sleeps for 200 and 3 years and woke wakes up and what happens and he finds himself transformed london where because of the compound interest he becomes the richest man in the world that's fine and scientific precision and objectivity are the chief characteristics of i a richards criticism jonathan colles the pursuit of science this book is what study of semiotic and literature and deconstruction the hypothesis that can be changed in the course of the research is not true about formulating hypothesis and research hypothesis are actually what tentative assumption that help the researcher to draw certain conclusion and the hypothesis focus on and focus on the important aspects of the problem then bushi m cheta's novel the joy of motherhood discusses the trouble of nu ego what an account of the cultural glorification of motherhood this novel is a response to another novel published 13 years earlier that glorifies motherhood the earlier novel was ifuru how much is left not much anyway Here, Brathwaite, Kamau Brathwaite is a poem from Barbados and wrote the Arrivance, a New World trilogy, which describes what the traumatic, traumatic what journey of African across the Atlantic to the New World, the subsequent enslavement and loss of identity. Paul Gilroy, cultural theories have developed the theory about black people who live on both sides of. Atlantic. In Tess of Durbervilles, Alec Alec decides to leave Tess and leave for Brazil. That is true. He impetuously what ask is to go with him, but is declines. Why? Because is tells him she cannot love him as much as Tess. And the House of Mirth is a novel by Edith Wharton, published in nineteen. Uh, oh five and it tells the story of lily bart remember the character lily bart a well born but impro impoverished what woman belonging to new york city's high society around the end of the 19th century and wharton creates a portrait of a stunning beauty who though raised and educated to marry well both socially and economically is reaching her 29th year an age when her youthful blush is drawing to a close and her marital prospects are becoming ever more so this is all the plot of the house of mart anyway the scarlet letter remember the date it was published in 1850 the prelude everybody knows that it is published in 1850 and yeah, collection of how many books 14 books in memoriam also 1850 george bernard shaw born in 1857 and bunny and died in the year of glorious revolution uh, the very word is like a bell to toll to toll me back from the to my soul self and the word forlorn keeps referred o to nightingale and james barry everybody know that he wrote peter pan and was from where scotland and again henry mahew what was a journalist playwright and advocate of reform he was one of the co-founders of the satirical magazine called punch which was published in 1841 and was magazine and was the magazine's joint editor mark 
Lemon. These are not just you. Just remember, Punch was published in 1841, and Dryden's Alexander's Feast was written in celebration of Saint Cecilia's Day. So we have what got 200 plus points, right? Key points, and in how many? In plus one hour. So again, uh, we have to. If you have the book, then it's good. otherwise let me see how many pages are left to oh, 300 plus pages and we are here in just 16 page that is quite a war we have to cover this anyway thank you so much it's over the class uh, the revision is over and if we have time we can just go one more time at night uh, again 4 to 500 key points we'll try to uh, remember anyway so bye bye and have a great day